In this project, we're going to focus on the concept of voltage current characteristics. Specifically, we'll look at Ohm's law as a voltage current characteristic and introduce a really slick way to plot the voltage current characteristic by using time varying voltages and currents. We'll be using the Analog Discovery Waveform Generator and oscilloscope instruments in this tutorial. If you haven't used these tools much, you may want to review some of the tutorial type projects associated with these instruments. The fifth scope tutorial project on creating XY plots might be especially helpful. In that project, we created a voltage current plot for a diode. The process we'll use here to plot a resistor's voltage current characteristic is identical to that approach. Resistors are characterized by their resistance, which is simply a relationship between the voltage and current at their terminals. As we pointed out when we did the Ohm's Law project, we can estimate resistance by applying a voltage across the resistor, measuring the current, and taking the ratio of the voltage to the current. If we do this only once, we'll get an estimate of resistance. However, any experimental data is prone to errors, so it's probably better to apply several different voltage levels to the resistor, measure the corresponding currents, and then calculate the resistance for each voltage current combination. Then we can, for example, identify bad data points and disregard them, or maybe average the calculated resistances and feel secure that a little error in any one measurement isn't completely skewing our results. Another and possibly better approach is to plot the various combinations of voltage and current against one another. Then we can draw a line that we think best represents the data. The slope of this line is the resistance. Individually measuring a large number of voltage and current combinations is pretty tedious. Luckily, since we're so clever, there's a way to more or less automate plotting these characteristics. To do this, though, we need to apply a time varying power to our circuit. Say that we apply a triangular voltage wave to a resistor like the one shown here. The resulting current waveform will also be triangular. Each point on the current curve will simply be the corresponding point on the voltage curve divided by the resistance. If we measure a bunch of different voltage and current points and plot the voltage points against the current points, we'll have our voltage current characteristic curve. Our function generator can apply time varying power and our oscilloscope can measure time varying voltages. But what about the time varying current? Well, if we have a resistor with a known resistance, we can calculate a current through the resistor from the measurement of the resistor's voltage and its resistance value. Luckily, our oscilloscope provides the ability to perform calculations based on the measured voltages. As an example, consider this circuit. We put a 100 ohm resistor in series with the resistor we want to characterize. The current through the two is the same, which we can prove by applying Kirchhoff's current law here. If the voltage across the known resistance is V1, we can calculate the current as V1 over 100 ohms. We can then plot the voltage V2 against this current. The slope of this curve will be our resistance R. This is our 100 ohm known resistor. This is the resistor we want to characterize. I'm using channel one of the waveform generator, the yellow wire to apply power to the circuit. Ground is down here. I'm using channel one of my oscilloscope to measure the voltage across the 100 ohm resistor, and channel two of the oscilloscope, the blue wires, to measure the voltage across the unknown resistor. Now let's apply power to the circuit and have the oscilloscope draw our voltage current characteristics for the unknown resistor. Our waveform generator is set up to apply a triangular voltage waveform to the circuit. I've rather arbitrarily picked a 100 hertz frequency and a 4 volt amplitude. So to go ahead and apply power, I'm going to click on run AWG1. My oscilloscope is already set up to provide the voltage current characteristic on this XY plot. The current through the unknown resistor, M1, is shown here, as is the voltage across the resistance, C2. If I plot these one against another, I get this straight line, which looks good because that should be the voltage current characteristic for a resistor. Since the voltage current characteristic goes through the origin, the estimated resistance can be read from any point on the curve. For example, out here, I have three volts at three milliamps. That means the slope of this curve is 1,000 and our resistance is one kilo ohm. 
the color bands on our resistor are brown, black, red, which correspond to a one kilo ohm nominal resistance, so our curve looks pretty good.